Hi, I'm Jeff Seckendorf, and today I'm going to talk about color temperature. Now, when we talk about color temperature, it seems like it should be a very objective conversation. Color temperature is just how we measure the color of light, or more specifically, how we measure the color of a burning light source. Now, like fire, the hotter the flame, the higher the temperature, and the whiter or bluer the light that's emitted from that flame, like white hot. Conversely, the lower the temperature of the fire, the redder the light that comes off the flame. So colloquially, we refer to the blue light as cooler, like ice, and the red light as warmer, like fire. That's just the way our language works. So the scale we use to measure color temperature is called degrees Kelvin. When that burning black body light source heats up to 5600 degrees, we call that daylight. And daylight is the average color that the sun produces during the day. And we mean average. Then there's tungsten, which is redder than daylight. It comes in at 3200 degrees, and it's the color of most incandescent lights we use for filmmaking. Daylight, 5600. Tungsten, 3200. Now, if it's bluer or cooler looking than daylight, it's higher degrees Kelvin. So a bluish twilight might be 10,000 Kelvin. If it's redder or warmer than tungsten, it's lower degrees Kelvin. So a household incandescent bulb might be 26 or 2800 Kelvin. And a flame might be as low as, oh, 1800 degrees Kelvin, much warmer than the light fixture we shoot with. Remember, our eyes are hooked to our brains. And although we see lots of different colors as we walk around the world, our brains generally interpret them as white. When you're sitting around your living room and the incandescent lights are on, we don't generally think, hmm, this is a nice orange light. We just interpret it as white, and the same thing happens when we're outside. But film and digital recording chips are different than our eyes. They can only see one color at a time as white. So if the chip in a digital camera is balanced for daylight, like it is in the red camera, then that camera will only see 5600 Kelvin as white. And this is very easy to control with camera filters that convert daylight to tungsten and tungsten to daylight. But what if there are different colors in the same scene? Well, your camera will see the one it's balanced for as white, and anything in a higher color temperature will look blue, and anything in a lower color temperature will look reddish. So if you shoot an indoor scene that's lit with tungsten lights, and your camera's balanced for tungsten, the interior will look white, and everything that's outside the window in the daylight that's uncorrected will appear blue. This is where the science and the physics and all that gets really interesting, because all this becomes part of your creative choice as a filmmaker. You get to use color temperature to guide the way the viewer feels. You control your visual story with color. Warm things up, cool them off, use color as a metaphor. And watch how other people use color in their film and video projects. Tell your story with color. The bottom line about color, learn the rules, then break them all.